guys, good morning. Happy Sunday. It's Daryl here. It is 6 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. I was just reading through my comments. Um, I try to read through all of your comments. A lot of times I don't comment on all of them, um, especially with so much going on right now. But I try do try to read them all and give them a thumbs up or heart. Or <laughs> I do try to read them. All right, but I found one. I found a couple, actually. Um, okay, there's one that talks about the downtown Los Angeles incident that I talked about with the African-American lady being held and beaten. Um, now, there's some, some talk that the person holding her... Now, I didn't talk about him. I mentioned that she was being held so tight that it looked like... Uh, her insides were going to come out, and that's that's what it looked like with, to me, without a doubt. I didn't I didn't say anything else about him. To me, I mean, if you look at the pictures, it looks like you know, I could see what it looks like. I didn't talk about him because I did read the different articles, and I read a part uh, uh, a quote from the woman, the African American woman, saying that somebody uh, somebody was trying to protect her allegedly and was holding her. And uh, telling her not to move. And I wondered if it was this guy. I wasn't sure. So I didn't say much more about that guy. I got a comment or two saying that, uh, you know, that I, I got it wrong or I shouldn't be accusing this guy. And, and that might be possible. This guy might have been part of the group, uh, but he's just trying to protect her. I, I'm not sure. Um, I do, I do know what I saw. I do know I saw a, a fist coming in into that video. I, you know, I, I know what happened there. So if the, the main part of the story is true. That person holding her, his exact uh, position in all this, I, you know what? It's not all that consequential to me, to be honest with you guys. Um, what mattered to me? was the mask interchange saying, take off your mask. To, to tell somebody to take their mask off, especially in L.A. at this point in the pandemic, uh, they had 20, I think it was 22,000 new people infected, 24,000 new people infected just in one day. They are heads and tails beyond everybody else. No, rooms in, no room in the hospital, no beds. And these guys are going around telling her to take her mask off. It is just insanity. All right, enough about that. Um, that's neither here nor there. Um, okay, these these claims about the AF being involved. I got a, I got a comment or two that I should check my facts because the AF was identified through facial recognition and tattoos that they were at the front, the ones that broke the windows going to the Capitol initially. Hmm. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, let's see. So these guys, this, this group of Trump supporters are rabidly, rabidly anti-AF and BLM. They were just dying to find, I was going to, I was going to mention that in a video too, that uh, thankfully it would appear that a lot of the BLM and AF were just smart enough to stay away and let these hoodlums and miscreants, patriots uh, run wild and make a, uh, I, I don't want to make light of it because there was five li lives lost. I was going to say a carnival, but it's, it wasn't, it was no carnival. All right. So this is what they're claiming that this person with the identifiable tattoos, apparently the people around all the, the t thousands of Trump supporters didn't also identify those, those tattoos. This is this, let's just get to that. This is nonsense. Uh, I, I, you know, if it's one thing I can't stand, it's people not taking responsibility for their actions. You know, it's a turn around and just then say, it wasn't us. We would never do that. It had to be them guys. I mean, we're not in kindergarten anymore, guys. At least take responsibility. If you did it, own it. Okay, so this is, this is interesting. Christopher Drew, a hairdresser from Huntington Beach, California. Uh, he just, he, he stormed the Capitol. He gets back. He makes a video outside his hotel room, all out of breath. We did it. We stormed the hotel. And this is what he says, paraphrasing here. He says, all you bitches in on Facebook uh, saying that this was the AF. No way. It was us. We did it. It was, the, it was uh, Trump supporters all the way. And we have the power. And then he went on to call. Uh, he, he went on to say that we pushed all the Capitol Police back. Not that they were bitches, but 
something. I don't know. He, he went on. Now, here's the really interesting part. He flipped real fast because the Trump supporters were not happy that he, that he gave credit <laughs> to the AF and BLM, and he got all sorts of uh, threats from his own people. This is, this is how, you know, this is how they work. <laughs> you know, you just you say one wrong thing, man, and you become the, the enemy. This is what you're dealing with when you're in this kind of conspiracy theory that has no truth. Um, people work viciously to, to guard this, this fragile story, this, this fragile narrative. And anybody that challenges or, or, or uh, says anything or acts to topple that this fragile narrative they built up on Stop the Steal and all this uh, is the ultimate enemy. Which brings me to my next point. Okay, so I see on Fox News, I see, uh, there's, they're all, oh, I, I tell you guys, I always look over uh, other media. I go every day, I look over the far-right conservative sites and see what they're saying. And they are aflame about Trump losing his Twitter feed. You know, they're not upset about the Capitol so much. But oh my God, they took away Trump's Twitter. Censors, China, communism. Oh my God, they are up in arms. This is the end of the world. Trump, Trump got his Twitter taken away. This is all they're talking about. All I swear to God, all over the right, the, the right wing sites is there. They are livid about Trump losing his Twitter. Not no, not so much that he incited uh, domestic terrorism. Nah, nah, but just he can't do it again now. What kind of freedom is that? Wow. What do you expect? It's the same people that are telling you not to wear masks and to spread the pandemic. Uh, you know, if, I swear to God, if you had told me this would be going on, if you told me this last year, I, I'd say this is insanity. You know, this, this can't be what's going to happen. Okay, so follow me here. On Fox News... They, are, they, they point out, they try to make a comparison. They say, you know, they take, how dare they take away Trump's Twitter censorship. They're taking away all these, uh, these, these uh, Twitter, Twitter uh, pages, whatever you call them. Uh, apparently, they are taking down dangerous ones that are dangerous to the country that are inciting violence. But they don't see it that way. They see it as freedom of speech. We could, we could, we, we, we got to have freedom of speech. You know, so we can go steal laptops from Nancy Pelosi's desk and and uh, vandalize the Capitol. And anyway, all right, so Fox News, right? And they're all they're upset and they compare it. They say that they're but but Twitter allows this video and these comments about hang Mike Pence. All right? How how can they allow this statement and these pictures, pictures of a noose and all that? You know, how could they allow that on there and not Trump's Twitter? Well, here's the thing that they didn't realize. It's their own people. It's Trump supporters that are putting up that, that thing, that hang, the, hang Mike Pence because he counted the votes, because they now consider him an enemy. They said nothing to do with Democrats putting up that. It wasn't Democrats putting up the hang the, the, the Mike Pence sign. We kind of think he did the right thing. We think he finally he finally came to his senses somewhat and did the right thing. We had nothing. You know, we we don't we don't want to hang him for you know. He's actually invited to the inauguration now. And uh, last thing I knew, Biden said he's welcome. All right, but Twitter <laughs> in, in all their brilliance seems to think that it's the left side that's putting this up. And how dare how dare. Twitter published this, you know, it, it's, a, they think it's left-wing propaganda and it's not, it's, it's, it's more right-wing stuff. They're complaining about Twitter leaving up their own people's stuff, their, their, their own right-wing stuff in, in reality. Wow. So, uh, this, this ongoing nonsense uh, about the AF being involved in this. Um, no, it doesn't make any sense. There's no, there's no reality to it. There's no facial recognition, no tattoos. This is nonsense. Um, I really don't want to hear it. Uh, if you guys, you know, to the person that posted that, it gave me something to talk about in this video. And in that way, I thank you for it. But 
I don't think you convinced anybody. As I read the other four or five comments, uh, they were not agreeing with, uh, uh, with you. Anyway, you guys have a good Sunday. I'll be back later with another video.